Okay. <clears throat> so I am here to, uh, to speak from the heart to you today. Um, <clears throat> originally, I had set this up as an anchor in abundance. I can't speak. <laughs> anchor in abundance um, webinar. And I've just changed the description to anchoring, uh, anchoring in and honoring the changes within you. Um, and I wanted to share my own experience recently. So I've had this period of a couple of weeks where I haven't been sleeping. There's been a lot of um, a lot of turmoil going in my head at night time, and a lot of changes that I could feel. Um, uh, happening within me and going to play out outside of me um, a lot of my attachment to things attachment to people attachment to my business attachment to um, everything that I've created in my life um, is actually serving as this um, has been serving as this weight as this pull on me um, and stay safe and stay within um, the structure of what I had created. Um, so the result of that is that I've gotten quite sick in the last couple of weeks, um, haven't been sleeping, and I, I know that it's calling me to face this stuff and up level. And I wanted to, um, I wanted to speak openly about that because um, vulnerability is my superpower. <laughs> um, as it says in one of my cards and vulnerability is also your superpower. So what is happening within you that you need to honor? What attachments have you got to um, people, places, structures um it could be your business it could be your friend circle it could be one particular relationship that um that you are that you keep referring back to for reassurance that you're doing okay what does that framework look like for you what have you created and can you feel the tension of it of it pulling on you and stopping you being in the present moment right now and stopping you creating um, the life that you want. So I really um, invite you <clears throat> to have a think about those things. Um, for me, I have put a lot of time and energy into recreating myself. Um, as most of you know, who uh, have been following me for a while. Um, and finding my identity and who is Nicolette Jane. Um, and what I have created is a version of my identity that is the expression of who I am, which is the truth. But um, I've then created a new attachment to that identity. So that identity as a healer, as someone who is always open for everyone, someone is, who is um, always giving of my energy to others and, and has a sense of responsibility to help others to heal. And um, beautiful Elizabeth Eleanor said to me a quote that she had heard that um, as healers, it's important to remember that who do we, who do we think we are that um we're basically saying to the other person that you can't he heal yourself let me do it for you so my next I, i've realized that <clears throat> within myself so i've created <clears throat> created the ability to heal and up level myself created this expansive energy that i'm able to actually help people move through things energetically and identify their um energetic blocks and, and um, you know, push them into, into new territory in a safe space. And I'm really proud of all of that. But the next evolution of me is actually as a teacher. So rather than 
taking on that responsibility or rather than my ego being attached to <clears throat> being the the healer and the shining light and blah 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 how can I actually teach better how can I teach people how to heal themselves um more effectively how can I um go through my own healing and up leveling journey and releasing these own attachments within myself so so I create the pathway not the I'm not doing it for anyone but I'm I'm providing the information saying here here is my roadmap here is my my um, blueprint of of my journey and how I'm how I'm um, working out these things within ourselves because when we feel that deep attachment to um, to something or someone or an identity and we feel like being ripped away from us, it's actually the most um, it's re- it's a really brutal process that we go through in in letting go of that and um honoring myself in this journey in the last couple of weeks and um becoming the teacher I just I I really wanted to share that and um I've actually decided to go away for a couple of weeks um from next Monday I'm driving up the coast to see my beautiful friend Catherine near Cairns and um, her son is turning 18. I've known him since he was born. So um, I really want to uh, spend some time with them and, and really connecting with myself on the way up. So you'll probably see some changes happening within um, this soul friends group and um, within the way that I'm working. And that's honoring my own evolution of myself and becoming the next version of of who I'm supposed to be and how I how I want to serve myself and then others um yes yeah, so I'm really looking forward to that and then um I will end up in Winton with mum and dad and the kids at the Opal Field um and driving the kids back so I'm going to do quite a lot of kilometers in um the end of June and, and July and um but I will be checking in. I will be going off the radar for a few days at a time and then I'll be checking back in um, to share my journey with you all. So thank you for um, tuning into this. And I, um, I'm i really, truly grateful for all the people who... Um, I'm going to get emotional. I'm really um, humbled and grateful for all the people who follow me who encourage me who comment on my posts of my artworks and um listen to my meditations each day and it's really humbling um and just makes me want to be a better um be a better version of me be a better teacher and um share even more vulnerably um because that's that's what I'm here to do and that's my purpose and my mission is to show this side of myself to help others um to connect with their own depths of who they really are so thank you everybody and enjoy the rest of your day